Let's walk through several troubleshooting techniques for addressing issues during the setup of the Brevera breast biopsy system with Core Lumina imaging technology. What should you do if the biopsy needle does not connect smoothly to the device driver? A biopsy needle connection error is displayed on the technologist's display, or you hear an abnormal sound when testing the cutting cycle. All of these may mean the device driver is not properly homed or in the ready position, which results in the biopsy needle not properly connecting to the device driver. This is what the device driver looks like in the homed position. Note that the forks are all the way to the right. This is what the device driver looks like when it is not in the homed position. Note that the forks are all the way to the left. If you did not visually check to see if the device driver is in the homed position, there could be a feeling of forced movement when placing the biopsy needle on the device driver. When placing the biopsy needle on the driver, the movement should be smooth, not forced. To home the driver, Remove the biopsy needle from the driver and press the check button on the technologist's display. The check button should always be pushed after a failed test to re-home the driver. After pressing the check button on the technologist's display, the system will switch to the setup screen and initiate re-homing the driver. Wait until the prompt has changed under biopsy needle from wait for device driver to not installed, place on driver. Now the driver is ready to set up the biopsy needle. If using the same biopsy needle, check that the gears on the underside of the biopsy needle are all the way forward. This is what the gears should look like on the underside of the biopsy needle when in the appropriate position. If the gears are in the incorrect position, shown here, simply push the gears all the way forward distally toward the needle tip. To place the biopsy needle, line up the back tab of the biopsy needle with the notch in the device driver. Carefully move the biopsy needle straight down to engage it with the device driver, aligning the notch with the back of the tab. Slide the biopsy needle forward until it locks into place with a click. The biopsy needle should attach and move forward smoothly. Do not drag the biopsy needle across the device driver when setting up. Once the biopsy needle is correctly in place on the driver, the box under biopsy needle should say installed and will be highlighted in green on the technologist display. Another troubleshooting item to be aware of that signifies that the device driver was not homed and there is not an optimal connection between the biopsy needle and the device driver can be identified during the test stage when testing the cutting cycle. When testing the cutting cycle, you want to look for a complete biopsy cycle with the aperture of the biopsy needle opening and closing. You also want to listen for the appropriate cutting sounds. This is an example of a correct test cutting cycle. Be sure to note the sound. This is an example of an incorrect test cutting cycle. Be sure to note the sound. When you hear this type of sound, it means the device driver was not properly homed. Remove the biopsy needle and check that the gears on the biopsy needle are pushed all the way forward. Then, press the check button on the technologist's display. This will switch the mode to the setup screen and initiate rehoming the driver. Once the device driver is in the homed position, then go through the normal steps to set up and test the needle. Lastly, there is a simple fix if there are driver errors or connectivity issues with the driver. If the technologist display has a non-recoverable driver error or the system is frozen due to the driver and you are unable to proceed with the setup, remove the biopsy needle and simply unplug and replug the device driver. The connection may then be restored and the driver will then rehome. As always, check the needle gears to ensure they are in the appropriate position 
before proceeding with installation. What should you do if you are getting a vacuum system not at required pressure message on the technologist display? The following are several possible causes and actions to take. Start with checking the canister. The suction canister lid may not be properly sealed onto the canister or the large port on the suction canister lid is not capped with the large plug. Check both to ensure both lid and large port are sealed. Check to make sure there are no cracks in the canister. If there are, replace the suction canister with a new one. Another possible cause is if the disposable biopsy needle suction fitting is not connected to the suction canister lid or not connected to the right port on the suction canister lid. To troubleshoot, make sure that the biopsy needle suction is connected properly to the horizontal port marked patient on the suction canister lid. Next, you'll want to make sure that the console vacuum line is connected to the canister. This vacuum line should be connected to the port marked vacuum on the top of the suction canister lid. Another possible cause is that the biopsy needle tubing is not inserted into the saline bag. Check to make sure that the saline bag is properly spiked. Next, check the tissue filter assembly housing cover. It may not be sealed tightly. Open the drawer and tighten the tissue filter assembly housing cover. If none of these suggested actions fix the vacuum error, use a new device. Retain the biopsy needle, record the lot number, and contact your local Hologic representative. Retry with a new biopsy needle. Remember, the check button should always be pushed on the technologist's display after a failed test.